evening tasters, Nivella here again with another nightcap note. You notice that I'm wearing my Diamondbacks shirt. The Arizona Diamondbacks, as we're filming this, have made it to the second round of the playoffs. And I know that my son-in-law in Indiana is very happy about that. One of my subscribers who has the name Astrumdus, somewhere in the middle of lots of numbers and letters, he suggested I do a tour of my bar. And I thought this was a good idea. And I'm going to try to do so. I have approximately 200 bottles of whiskey collected over a period of 20 years. Storage, of course, with that number is difficult. And not a great deal of thought has gone into the arranging of the whiskies. But there is some sort of a pattern, although rogue bottles can crop up in strange places. So I have six categories. The first category is Lowland and Campbelltown. The second is Blends. The third is Speyside. Fourth is Highland. Fifth are the Islands. And the sixth, the rest of the world. And let's go through them one at a time. So this little section are my Lowlands and Campbelltown. I have here five Ockentoshan whiskies. Ockentoshan was the last distillery we visited in Scotland. And then there's one, two, three, four Campbelltown malts. And finally, there's this Bladnock, or Bladnock, however it's pronounced. This company is owned by an Australian company. So that's my little holding of Lowland and Campbelltown. So the second area is my blends. And they're a little bit concentrated. I have here in the front six compass box whiskies. Some of them are really nice, particularly this spice tree. And the second row in behind, there are about half a dozen Johnny Walker blends. As well as that, there's a Shivers 15 year old here. And tucked back here in the corner is a Johnny Walker Swing, which is another blend. And of course, blends do pop up in other areas. Um, so we'll approach those when we get to them. The third loose grouping of my collection are space sides. And here we're running, as I said, into a bit of uh, difficulty in finding space. But there are two rows here of Speyside and that little bit there. And these few here on the end are all Speysides. I've got a huge collection here of Glen Murray. Um, we don't overlook the Craganmore whiskies. Craganmore, beautiful stuff. As well as Tom and Tool and Benriac. Okay, I've got two shelves here. So this is the fourth section of my collection, which is the Highlands. And we'll have to film it in two parts because of the difficulty. But you'll notice that most of these shelves are double uh, depth, so there's whiskies in behind. But uh, I have quite a nice little holding, as I mentioned some time ago about the Glenmorangies there. We've got Arbelau here, which are classified as Highland, although having visited, it's in the heart of Speyside. Some beautiful Glengoynes here and Glendronics. Wolfburn right from the north of, uh, of Scotland, right up the top. And uh, you notice over here in the in the corner are quite a collection of Glen Farkless. 
I've got three beautiful tomatons here and these lovely balvenies. It's interesting to be using my Laphroaig bat to point those things out. In behind these whiskies here, there are a number of peated blends. Things like Big Peat, the Smokehead, there's the Big Peat, and, and others, um, which are all very interesting expressions of peat, but they're blended. This is the fifth part of my collection, and these two shelves are totally islands. And I'll discuss a few of the islands. There'll be a bit of repetition. Over here we've got four Highland Parks and two Scarpers from the Orkney Islands. Here a couple of Brook Laddie, obviously Islay. Here three Jurors. Four Lefroigs, I love Lefroig, and seven Bowmore whiskies, all the uh, Islay, Bowmore, and Lefroig. And then here we've got four Talisker whiskies from Skye, three Kale Isla from Islay. These whiskies here are all from Islay, Ardbeg, Banahaven. Lagavulin and Finlagen, and this new one here called Islay Mist. Two from the island of Mull, four from the Isle of Arran. Obviously, as I've said before, I really like peat, and a large number of these are peated. I particularly like the Bowmore whiskies because the peat is always in balance with other things. But sometimes you just need a big hit of peat. And finally, I have my rest of the world. Not a great holding of rest of the world, and most of them here are Americans. So there's Bourbon, Woodford Reserve here, a bit of Japanese there, Crown Royal from Canada, Tullamore Dew from Ireland, and a couple of lovely bourbons. Well, again, some Americans. There's even a French whiskey in there. And back there, there's a Welsh whiskey. There are a couple of, couple of Australian whiskies, but in my mind, they don't rate very highly. But there's some really special bourbons. Uh, a peated Irish one down here. So a small holding of the rest of the world. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at my collection as much as I enjoyed showing it to you. And thank you, Astrum Deuce, for suggesting the idea. I've got a little sip of Ockentoshan here and I'm wishing you well and hoping your whiskey collection is growing. All the best. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff.